Welcome to the 11th Java tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at do while loops. But before we do that, I explained how while loops work in the previous tutorial, which was tutorial 10. So if you've not watched that, you should go watch that now because I, will, I explained how all of this code worked. And I'm not going to go over that again because they are so similar. So essentially, a while and a do while loop do the same thing. The only difference between a while and a do while loop is where the conditional test is performed. And what I mean is, in a while loop, the conditional test is performed before the statements are handled. In a do while loop, the conditional test is performed after the statements are handled. So we will move that past the statements. And I'll show you that. But let's first execute the while loop. And again, a do while loop and a while loop will give you the same results, and I'll show you that now. So let's go ahead and run that. And you can see here that we got a, this is a loop, this is a loop, this is a loop. And that's the same output that we got in the last tutorial. So let's go ahead and close that out. And now what we're going to do is move this conditional statement to beyond, and we're going to put in a semicolon here. So this is beyond the statements now. So the conditional test will be done at the end. And then we'll put in the do keyword here. And so that's how that's going to work. So let's go ahead and run this. And we should get the same exact output. And we did. Look, this is a loop. This is a loop. It's the same exact output that we would get. The only difference, like I said before, is that the condition is done after the statements are handled. Now, there are a couple points I'd like to make before we close out this tutorial. The first point is that for both a do while and a while loop, we will define and declare our variables before any of the work gets done. The second point that I'd like to make is that you may ask the question, what happens if this conditional test on the first run is false? What happens? And it's a good question. If that happens, these statements, since they are executed before the conditional test, you will get at least one line of output. So let's do that now. So let's make this a 16. And now the bottom number is greater than the top number. So this conditional test will turn out to be false. But since this is executed last and after the statements are handled, we should expect to get at least one line of output. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll run this. There you can see we got one line of this is a loop. What I will show you now is let's move the while loop to the start here. We'll get rid of the do keyword. Whoops, going the wrong way. And we will get rid of the semicolon. And we will rerun this. And we received no output. And that is what we expected because this conditional test turned out false at the beginning and therefore the system.out.print was not printed. The loop simply ended when this met the false condition. So that's it on while and do while loops and I will see you guys in the next video.